Hello and welcome to this overview video of Bonita BPM 7. In this video I will highlight the new features of this release by looking at a sample process called Expense Report. If you follow our additional videos you'll be able to create such a process. The first feature I'm going to highlight here is the Business Data Model. Business Data Model, or BDM in short, is a feature that existed in prior version but has been downgraded now in Community Edition. This particular feature allows you to create business data with a graphical user interface. Here we have created an expense report object composed of lines, each composed of label and costs. So this allows you to create structured objects that are persisted in an external database with a lifecycle that is independent from uh, your business processes. You can go further and add special uh, constraints on your object, write custom queries, and all of that will generate uh, Java objects with getters and setters to simplify for you the manipulation of those objects, so you won't have to write SQL queries in the end. The next feature I'm going to present to you is new for all edition. Uh, this is called the contract. This is something that applies to the case start and to step execution. A contract has the purpose of specifying a list of input parameters that are required for executing a step or starting a process. Here I have selected my process expense report and I'm looking at the case start contract. And what this means here is that we expect the uh, forms that are associated with the case start of the process to provide a summary and some lines composed of label and cost. If my end user does not provide these data, I will not match my contract and I will not be able to execute my case start. The advantage of contract is to make sure you have valid data given by your forms and this limits the risk of errors when executing anything on your process logic. It also facilitates the maintenance of your process logic by uh, decoupling the user interface from the logic itself. The next key feature I would like to introduce to you is the UI designer. The UI designer is our new web-based form and page editor. This technology is based on AngularJS and Bootstrap to create rich and responsive forms. What we see now is a palette on the left side with a set of widgets which are pretty similar to the one we had in Bintia BPM 6 and the concept is still the same, you take widgets from the palette and you drag and drop them onto the form editor. What is new here is the concept of data. We now have form data based on Angular variables that we can use and bind on widgets to create dynamic forms even on the community edition. For instance, here we have a set of lines which are inside a container that you can repeat on data. We can actually test this by using the preview mode here, which allows us to do a preview on the form. Another great aspect of this new technology is the ability to create custom widgets. If I go back to the UI Designer homepage here, I now have the ability to create new widgets. These new widgets can be created using AngularJS and HTML templating. Here you can provide a description, you can write a full HTML template, code your AngularJS controller, uh, require some external module, bind some external assets using JavaScript, Flash or whatever type of extension you want, and configure a set of properties to reuse them in the form builder. Once you have set up your BDMs, your contracts and created your forms, you may now run the process. Here I'm going to demo the expense report process in its finished state. So I'm going to run it. Uh, the view we have here now is in the standalone mode. It could be integrated into the Bonita portal or integrated into a living application. Here I will provide a summary from my expense report. I will create a first line called L1 with a cost of 1. I can also add a second line, let me see, L2 with a cost of 2. I'm now able to submit that. Here I'm going back to the Bonita portal. I can move to the next step inside the Bonita portal. Looking here at my data, my summary, and some extra data I have set on the backend side, on the Bonita server side, I can now look back at my entered data and I can comment them OK and I can complete my process. This concludes the overview tour of Bonita BPM 7. 
Be sure to watch the upcoming videos that will describe some extra new features that are not covered in this video. We will present custom pages, living applications, custom REST API extensions, and some exciting subscription features such as fragments in forms and live updates of forms. In the meantime, you may follow the videos that are going to be available right away. This will explain you how to create this expand report process step by step. Thank you for having watched this and remember, have fun with Bonita.